Yo, this is Ye. We just sold out the United Center in seven minutes. And I just wanted to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that I had access to in the past year. And when I call, people say there's no avails for me. And you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please. So if we're listening and trusting Kanye West, which I'm not so sure if that's ever a great thing to do when music is not involved. Kanye says that he sold out the United Center in seven minutes as he and Ty Dolla Sign prepare what we believe to be a collab album called Vultures. So Kanye, as y'all remember, is gonna try to do listening parties again as he did with Donda 2. Kanye was able to sell out multiple arenas, including Chicago. He was doing stadiums in Atlanta, Georgia as well. Kanye's trying to run that thing back, but according to Ye, he's having some hard times here getting venues to sign off. Now, I don't know exactly why venues would say no to Kanye. Let's keep in mind, we are in the midst of basketball season. A lot of concerts are taking place. Also keep in mind, Ye's trying to do this willy nilly. If I remember correctly, last time Ye did this with Donda 2, it was like in the fall before football season had started. He's trying to do this willy nilly in the heat of basketball season. There's a lot of venues doing concerts. Ye's just trying to pop up and snag an arena. I don't know if it works like that, not to mention the fact that Ye made them Jewish comments. Now he clearly believes that the reason why he's not getting the arenas that he wants is not because of anything already booked, it's because of the stigma around him right now. I don't know. I don't know which one is what. I mean, maybe probably a little bit of both, but y'all let me know. Do you guys plan to go to Ye's album release party again? If he's able to get into it, Atlanta, LA, would you pop in to see Ye perform only new music? If you remember from that album release party last time, the ones that he did, he ain't doing no old records. And that was my only thing. Like, you know, Ye say a lot of crazy stuff. I was pissed that Ye didn't at least play his old music and at least run through a few of the classics. Again, I know it's not a Kanye concert and I can't be mad at somebody for giving you exactly what he told you he was gonna give you an album release party. But I just felt like, damn, these folks are packing out stadiums to hear your new music at your very grown age. Can you please give them something? It's a, literally a room of gay supporters. Can you give them a little bit of the hits? Cause the new records, they, look, Donda was, was really good to me. Donda 2 was really good to me. But it wasn't, you know what I mean? You know, it wasn't, it wasn't like the old Ye. Y'all let me know. Time, love, and support is what your boy would ever take for granted. Ye says politic games are getting the best of him getting arenas. He say he sold out the United Center. That was the one he was only able to get. I see him on social media talking with Freddie Gibbs behind the scenes about potentially locking in some more arenas. If you were a venue, would you bring Ye in knowing the liabilities of his mouth? Pause. Time, love, and support is what your boy doesn't take for granted. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So please don't go. make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories. I talk music. I cover sports. I am culture, I am Pharaoh.